Moving on now, close to 7% of all the liquefied petroleum gas businesses being carried out in the country are illegal. This is a shocking revelation by the Petroleum Institute of East Africa as it raises concern over the kind of gas consumers are using at their homes. The industry lobby group has heaped responsibility on the Energy Regulatory Commission for failing to act to dismantle the cartel like practices in the industry. Further adding that it posed a risk to consumers is KTN's Philip K. The Energy Regulatory Authority in July issued a list of 84 liquefied petroleum gas depots and retail outlets that were suspected to be engaging in illegal activity. But until now, no action has been taken against them, despite the regulator even calling for a suspension of their licenses. This has prompted the industry lobby group that represent oil marketing firms to speak out as it questions the level of safety. What we see as a reluctance or lack of willingness by the regulator and enforcement agency to stem the ever-increasing vice, which, is, which has now threatened to spiral into a crisis. With cartels controlling 70% of the LPG business, Petroleum Institute of East Africa called out the regulator for failing to act on the illegal traders despite knowing who they were. Nairobi County alone has over 70 illegal traders and over 10 illegal and unlicensed LPG storage and cylinder filling facilities with 7 out of 10 LPG cylinders in the market are supplied by illegal refillers. We as PIA would like to express our happiness and gratification with this project, uh, with this process that has been undertaken in policy formulation and legislation review. PIEA now warns that its members cannot take responsibility for the integrity of the LPG cylinders and the content that is stocked in majority of supermarket and estate retail outlets as these have not been filled or supplied by brand owners. What we have also seen is a spiral back of insecurity, especially in petrol stations, where the illegal fillers are looking for cylinders that are valid. LPG illegal and unlicensed retail business do not remit value-added tax to the Kenya Revenue Authority and are therefore not VAT compliant, disadvantaging legitimate unlicensed big, medium and small oil marketing companies that are playing by the rules. Philip Keitan, KTN Business.